Good day everybody and welcome to Beat Buddy Worship. My name is Antoni Boota and today I want to show you guys a short quick video of how I use my Beat Buddy to connect and work with OnSong. We use it every Sunday on song, and it's very convenient if you swipe over on your on song, you will see that it automatically and instantly changes to the next song, even if it changes drum kits. So I want to show you guys quickly how I did that. I got all my resources and how to do this from the video that OnSong uploaded about connecting your beat buddy to OnSong. But there are lots of stuff there that I don't use. So I'm just going to show you exactly how I got my things to work. So the first thing you want to do is you want to jump onto your beat buddy. I'm going to show you guys. You just enter the menu settings. I hope you'll be able to see here. Let me just zoom in a little bit more. So here you go to main pedal and then you go to MIDI settings. And the most important thing, um, I think, you want to start with MIDI out, you change the channel to channel 1, make sure that your um, settings MIDI goes through channel 1, and then sync, you just say disable, very important, and then I think start and stop, I, I put my start on intro, I don't, I don't actually use that, stop, I'm not so sure if I use it either, because I'm not sending MIDI notes, um, actually, yeah, you need those two because you actually want to stop the beat buddy using on song sometimes. But I, I don't actually use it like that, so I'll show you guys. Um, time signature needs to be enabled because it needs to, you need to get your, your, your settings from an outside source. Um, MIDI in, let me just show you what you do here. MIDI channel number, make sure it's on channel one. And, um, and then the only other thing, control change must be enabled. Those are the only settings that I change on my beat buddy. So um, once you've done that, you go back and you the rest of the settings will happen on on song. So let me just quickly get out here. There we go. And now let me show you guys. So if you see here, if I swipe to the next one, it changes. So let me show you how I did that. So if you look at on song, um, there's this setting or the where you find the settings is right at the top on your on the wrench there in the top right. You go to editors and then you click on MIDI and the very first thing is you must make sure that you're at sources that your Bluetooth is connected. So if you click on the Bluetooth button, make sure there it says connected. One Sunday I, I quit my program before service just to save battery and then when I started the service I forgot to enable it again and then I couldn't swipe so I had to go down to my feet to swipe between songs. So the only other setting that you need to make sure that MIDI is enabled, so the very first one there at the top, and then um, playback, I don't know if you have to change anything there. The only thing I did change was I'm, you have to put on time signature and you must put tempo to channel one because that is the channel that you also selected on your beat buddy. I think those are the only two settings that is important to have on, on your basic on song. Um, so now, the, how do I make each song change the beat buddy as you can see there? The way I do it is on my beat buddy, if you quickly look here, this is my home folder. So there's my first folder and within that folder there are my four songs. Okay, So if you know that, then um, it's important when you set up, I just go to this little editing icon on the top right and then at information, for each song you just select which song it must load in your beat buddy folder so it's quite easy you go to send and receive midi you click on the send one and then you click on the um there will be those these options or you just say plus if there's nothing there you say plus at the bottom right and then you first select program um, then you scroll down you choose channel one and then you must make bank msb zero Bank LSB0, those are the folders within the Beat Buddy, and then program is the number of song in the folder. So this will I want my first song to be selected, so I put it on zero. So that is and then you say done. So now if I go from any other song to this one, you will see that my Beat Buddy changes. So let me quickly show you the second song in my folder and also the second song on my playlist. I just go to information. You go down, go to MIDI send, click on that, make sure it's program, channel is channel one, make sure MSB and LSB is both zero, and then you will see here it's, it's it says number one, bright acoustic piano. I don't know 
I think that are, those are just the numbers. I don't think you have to worry about what it says. That just means it'll select the second song in the folder. So that is how that one looks. So we say done. So there you'll see when I swipe, it changes. So if I go to the third one, just for the last reference information, MIDI send at the bottom, you will see it says program channel one, and then I've got the fourth one from the top selected. It says number three, but it actually starts at zero. So that's why it's the fourth song in the folder. That is literally how I do it. So once, um, if I go here to my set list, once I have that set up, I just click on each song quickly. Um, obviously you have to first make sure your beat buddy, all the folders are correct on your beat buddy. So let's go back to the beginning. So once you are here and you changed your memory card, you made sure that all the songs you want is on your top folder. That's usually where I put my Sunday set lists, the very first folder on the memory card. So there's my first folder, and then I want to access the first song in the first folder. So then those are the settings that I use. So guys, I know there are way more advanced ways to use the Beat Buddy. Um, this is the way I use it. I really hope that it helps you guys. And um, let me know if there's anything else that you guys um, want to know. I got all my information from the OnSong video on YouTube. That's, that's there already. So this is just a quick video of how I do it. I hope you guys can benefit from it. And um, yeah, please comment in the video down below whether you found an easier way or if you use your OnSong any differently. Just for those who wonder, um, all the scribble is just for my beat buddy. If you look on my actual um, lead sheet, I've got the green numbers on the right. Those are my parts on the beat buddy. Um, and then the green, I mean the blue stars are the transitions. And then the red is usually where I do my outro. Um, yellow is usually where I do a filling. So you will see some of my songs I have. And on the left, I just show how big is the part um, that I wrote. So the whole verse is part one, and then the whole chorus is part three or five or whatever. So that's just how I map out each Sunday so that I don't get confused. And so I don't have to memorize each song as I play the beat, buddy. So anyway, guys, just a little uh, last thing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.